Hello VLSA aspirants, welcome to Bhavani VLSA Labs. Today we are starting a brand new series on digital electronics essential for VLSA freshers. Before going to VLSA, it's very important to understand the digital basics. So in this video series, I will take you step by step through all the key concepts required to build a strong foundation. Why digital before VLSA? Now the question is, why should we learn digital electronics before VLSA? Well, digital is the foundation of all chip designs. Every ASIC or SOC is built using digital circuits without understanding logic gates, Boolean algebra, FSMs and memories. It is impossible to design RTL or write very lock code. So remember, digital is not an optional, it is the backbone of LSI. ASIC design flow. Next, let's look at the ASIC design flow. This is the step by step process followed in the semiconductor industry. We start with the specifications, then RTL coding in the Verilog or VSDL, followed by synthesis, place, and route, fabrications, and finally testing. Digital circuits from the RTL backbone here. So, all those topics we are going to learn will directly help you in understanding RTL design and verification. Number systems. Computers don't understand decimal numbers like us. They only understand binary zeros and ones. Apart from binary, we also use octal and hexadecimal systems because they simplify representations. For example, one hexadecimal is equals four binary digits. So as an engineer, you should be comfortable converting between decimal, binary, octal and hexa. This is first step in the learning digital logic. Codes. Now let's talk about codes. Some important ones are BCD, Gray Code, XS3, and Parity Bits. For example, Gray Code is very useful in FSMs and counters because only one bit changes at a time, which reduces errors. Parity Bits are widely used for errors, detections in communication and memory systems. So you will definitely see this in VLSA applications. Logic Gates Logic Gates are the building blocks of the digital circuits. We have basic gates like AND or NOT, then universal gates AND and NOR, special gates like XOR and XNOR. Using combinations of this, we can design any digital systems. In fact, your processor at the lowest level in just billions of transistors forming this Boolean algebra. Boolean algebra is like mathematics for logic. It has rules and laws like De Morgan's theorem and distributive and associative laws. Using Boolean simplification, we can reduce circuit complexity, which saves hardware and cost. This is exactly what synthesis tools also do in the backend. Let us understand combinational circuits. Combinational circuits are circuits whose output depends only on the current input. Examples, adders, subtractors, multiplexers, decoders, and so on. These are heavily used in CPUs. For example, adders are used in the ALU, multiplexers in routing signals and decoders in memory addressing. Let us understand sequential circuits. Sequential circuits are different because their output depends not only on current input but also on past inputs, meaning they have memory. Latches and flip-flops are the basic building blocks. Registers and counters are the built using flip-flops. These concepts are critical in designing state machines and pipelines and memory elements inside the chips. FSM Finite State Machines or FSMs are one of the most important parts of the VLSI design. They are used to design controllers like a traffic light controller or a sequence detector. There are two main types, Mure and Mille. FSMs are everywhere inside digital chips. Hazards and glitches. When signals travel at a different delays, we may face hazards or glitches. A glitch is a temporary unwanted output change. Static hazards and dynamic hazards are important to understand because they can use incorrect functioning of a circuit. In industry, timing closure and verification teams deals with these issues. Let us understand memories. Memories are crucial in every chip. They are RAMs like SRAM and RAM. ROMs like PROM, EPROM, APROM and FLASH. FIFO is widely used in SOCs for buffering data. Memory hierarchy, cache main memory and secondary storage all come into play when designing efficient systems. 
So, to summarize digital electronics in the backbone of LSI, every engineer must master logic gates and Boolean algebra, FSMs and memories. Before moving into RTL design and verification, in these next videos, we will talk each topic step by step and learn them. With examples of and applications, stay tuned and subscribe to Bhavani VLSI Labs for more.